Hey guys, it's Ian with Ian Blue Music here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the plugin Coral by Native Instruments. Let's get into it. Okay, so Coral is a chorus plugin, but it also has some reverb capabilities, some experimental things. I'm gonna show you all of that today in this video. There's a good chance you already have it if you have the last few versions of Complete, or you can pick it up with these two other plugins for 70 bucks. Let's get into the actual plugin. I've got it pulled up in Logic here on some demo vocals. I was doing some writing last night, a little bit softer than what I usually do, but it will work for this example. We've got the stock preset pulled up. Nothing else modulating the vocals. Let's see how that sounds. How did it break you? Dying to make you somebody new once again. That's after turning it back to dry. I'm gonna turn it on in a second. I'm too ashamed to tell you I need you. Tell me you it sounds pretty good right out of the box. Default preset, it works well. It's a good starting point. Now, I'll be honest, the presets here are really good and they're where I spend most of my time. And if you don't know much about this plugin, it's a great place for you to start too. You've got choruses here. The ones I use the most are Standard Widener, Classic Chorus 1 and 2, Guitar Polish, which is great for cleaning up guitar leads, especially if they're sounding harsh or kind of hard to manage, just helps smooth them out. And voice doubling, I use that on my vocals quite a bit. Something I don't use are these spaces. I was telling you it has some reverb capabilities. I'll give you an example. It's kind of a weird reverb, but it could be useful in some situations, not really for me. Let's go back to chorus. I'm gonna to go to standard widener. Standard widener is a great starting point in my opinion. Now, if all you needed was the presets, you can go ahead and click off. I won't be offended, but if you wanna get into how to use this plugin right, this is where the meat and potatoes is. So I'm gonna go over all these controls and I'm going to kind of start from top to bottom, but first I'm gonna start right here in the middle with this SEDU selector here. It's broken down. Synth is like a chorus you'd have on like an 80s keyboard sort of thing. Ensemble's like a 70s synth strings keyboard. Dimension is an 80s rack mount chorus. Pretty thick, pretty uh, edgy. And then Universal is a clean, modern sounding chorus which is what I try to use on my vocals, sounds great. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, it doesn't affect any of the settings, but it affects the tonality of the whole plugin and kind of a great place to start if you have an idea on what you were wanting to get out of this plugin. We've got width, how wide do you want this chorus to be? You want it all the way out in the outside or really tight and narrow. This visual indicator is actually really helpful and you'll see it move a lot as we change these settings here. Keep an eye on that. Mix is a wet dry. I usually uh, either have it 100% or somewhere between 50 and 100 if I want something a little more subtle. Rate, how fast do you want that movement to happen? How did it break you, dying to you can see the indicators moving really quickly now. How did it break you? I like a nice, slow, thick chorus. How did it break you? As we're moving across, feedback works hand in hand with delay. And essentially feedback is taking those chorus voices, the additional voices, and feeding them back into themselves. Now it doesn't do too much, but since there's a delay here, you can actually make some really interesting reverb -y effects. This is where the whole reverb thing comes in. It's got this scatter button here too. With it on, it makes it a lot more reverb -y. With it off, it makes it a lot more like stuttery. You can see that here. How did it break you? Dying to make you somebody new once again. I'm too ashamed. Interesting for experimental stuff. I keep it on. It seems to make it a little softer. I show you both of these at the same time because they're so integrated. Uh, if you know routing at all, it, it might make some sense to you. There's delay on the voices and then they feed back into themselves. It's going to make some unique sounds. It's actually the Realm reverb. That reverb actually takes from these settings and some of this engineering and makes some really unique sounds on Realm. You can check out that video. I explained that as well. All right, moving over to the other side here on a mount. How much do you want that modulation to move in the chorus? How did it break you? Do you want it not to be a lot or do you want it to move a ton? How did it break you? Then you have this voices selection. You can start at one, go to three, and it kind of fade in. You can see it's represented up on the visualizer up top. How did it break you? Dying to me. 
This is really pretty close to what my settings would be. I'll turn up that mix, make it a little more exaggerated. That's how I use Coral by Native Instruments. Anything I didn't cover, any questions you have, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to answer those. Also, please subscribe for this reason. I'm doing a massive giveaway. Uh, when I get to 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a bunch of beats. I don't know how many yet, but they're pretty good, and I've been working really hard uh, in between videos to just make as many beats as I can and make them as unique as I can. So do that, subscribe, and I'll be posting a video about that in the next month or so and giving you the link to a bunch of free beats, which is pretty cool. And then also 1,000 subscribers, I get a chain, so I want that as well. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next time.